Hello guys, this is Madhuba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to import AutoCAD file into Archicad. Once again, I'm going to show you guys how to import AutoCAD file into Archicad. Now before I proceed, I want to say thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching my videos even if i have not posted for a very long time i had to take a break it was overwhelming creating content and posting every week so i had to take a break the december um, workload was quite much so i had to take a break on youtube so i'm back now and i'm back with them um, i'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to be posting videos upon videos and this, so this year is going to be a lot more um informative okay so thank you so much for subscribing and i still i also want to say thank you for the 3500 subscribers so let's hit more and don't forget to also like share comment you know and all that so thank you so much so if you're new here kindly subscribe to our channel turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this we always post useful tutorials about archicad and 3dx max so let's get started so guys this is the archicad layout this is how archicad layout looks so if you want to import autocad just go to file enter operability and then go to merge so when you click merge you locate your autocad file okay try to locate your autocad file and then when you select autocad file you, you open and you press ok so you just keep all that so this appears you press merge okay so then you 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 place your join at that point where you see your um those elevation lines that's like the midpoint this is basically for those that wants to um create a a 3d design from um, using an autocad file for instance you are given an autocad to project the um, 3d design and you want to take it into archicad so all you need to do is just merge it into this the the archicad layout by going to file interoperability and then you press merge and you do all we you saw on the screen so it's that simple so that's it it's that simple i'm going to show you something else why i chose this method instead of using place external joints i'm going to show you guys so these are the joints these are the joints if for instance we want to work on these joints these are these are the joints and it comes they are all grouped together so it's for um i notice some people normally when they when they have a joint like this all they do is explode it is actually not good to explode it all you need to do is just suspend the group okay you don't explode it when you explode it it just scatters everything even the dimension it scatters it so what you do is to suspend the group by going to that um yeah that button right there okay when you click it it has been suspended so you can work on individual lines okay for instance you want to select and work on individual lines just like that okay or you want to select the the floor plan to the other level you can easily do it okay then after all then you all you just do is unsuspend the group again okay so instead of uh, exploding which normally distorts everything all you need to do is um suspend the group so I'm, I'm cutting it right now and i'm cutting that floor plan right now and i want to paste it in the other uh, floor so i'm going to i cut it and i'm pasting it right now yeah so that's it so all you need to do is if you want to place it in the right position you just turn on your reference 
okay and then you move to the right direction you can use your stair to get the proper position okay let's pick a point let's use our stair to get the proper position so just drag okay and place as simple as that this is for the benefit of those that doesn't know this so it's, this is for your benefit so as you can see this so that's the um first floor plan that's the first floor plan and this is how you go about you know um arranging your plans before you start working same thing you do for the second floor Okay, same thing you do for your for your roof okay so when you're done with everything you just unsuspend the group and that's that so that's pretty much that thank you for watching i just showed you guys guys how to import autocad file into archicad so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching